Hi, my name is Dr. James Ong, and for those of you who already know who I am, um, I'm the live stream guy, yes. I'm the host of Prive International's live stream, which we have every Sunday. Now, uh, today I'm going to be presenting to you the terahertz frequency and um, providing some evidence uh, because I'm, you know, coming from a legal background um, before I uh, obtained my PhD in alternative medicine. I like to look at everything, you know, as in uh, factual, um, evidentiary kind, kind of like, you know. So, uh, before I joined uh, Prive International, I did my own research and I'm going to share some of these uh, researches with you so that you can make um, a proper uh, decision after you finish this uh, video. Alright, so let's get on with it. Now, uh, Prive International was incorporated 28th September 2021. Yes, we are still a baby. <laughs> we are still an infant. But despite the fact that we have only been around for one and a half years, we have already expanded to more than 50 countries in the world. Yes, more than 50 countries in the world. And how did we do that? Well, I am sure by the time you finish uh, watching this video, you will get a feel of why we were, you know, why we are able to achieve that. Now, before I get started, I would like to make a medical disclaimers first. iTerra Care Classic, iTerra Care Premium, and iTerra Care Pro are not medical devices. The information provided is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. Please consult a medical professional or healthcare provider if you are seeking medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Yes, these are the three iTerra Care devices. The red one on the right is the classic, which is our basic model for personal use. And then the one in the middle is the premium, which is also for personal use, but better quality. All right, casing and, and everything that goes with it. And the other one on the left is the pro model, which is for wellness centers, for clinics, and it is heavy duty. And um, unlike the other two, um, the Pro also has the uh, uh, you know, room temperature or cold function uh, as opposed to the other two which only comes with the heat function and the output of the Pro is higher. All right? Now, what is terahertz? Honestly, before I joined Prive International, I had no idea. I had no idea what terahertz is. And, um, I research and this is what I have found out. Terahertz is actually, it sits, you know, it's a kind of wave, but it sits between uh, microwave and infrared. All right. So some people call it the terahertz gap. And for many, many years, people didn't know uh, it was even there. And when they found out, they didn't even know what is it good for. All right. Um, so where do you find the application of terahertz? Well, Terahertz has been widely used in communication technology, public safety, biomedical, archaeology, military, and identification. Now, the reason why it's being utilized in these industries is mainly because it is non-ionizing. In other words, it does not harm your cells or DNA. All right? It's non-ionizing, you know, compared to X-ray, for example, which is ionizing. So, at airport security, it can scan through you see what you're hiding, all right? And uh, at the same time, it is safe because it's non-ionizing. So that's why you don't get to see x-rays being used in airports, right? Because it is going to harm your body. Right, moving on. And um, this is the inventor. 2014, biomedical scientist Yang Wen Jun. He invented the first terahertz device in the world. And you can see in the picture here, um, a little bit clumsy, yes, but very, very expensive. Much, much more expensive than the ones that we uh, are using today. And they have already done, over the years, 62 clinical tests, right, at Beijing Research Institute of Chemical Technology. And that is China, the manufacturer, the inventor. What about Malaysia? Well, our company is Prive International Sandrian Berhad, a Malaysian company, and we have the global exclusivity for this product all over the world. That's why we are uh, telling you who is the inventor, their factory, and so on, all right? Because we have the world exclusivity to market the um, iTerra Care product. 
So, moving on. I have basically summarized four main points why iTerra Care devices that we are selling, they have penetrated and expanded to more than 50 countries in the world. And these four main points are, first, it stimulates the stem cells, second, activate the cells, and thirdly, it's safe, and fourth, it's very simple, it's user-friendly. Now, coming to stem cells, before I join, they were telling me that you know, you just have to blow on the spine and it can stimulate the stem cells. I said, show me the proof, right? And no one could show me the proof. So I went on and researched myself. And, um, you know, based on what I have found, uh, well, it, it, was in, it was good enough for me to start, uh, you know, joining Pride on May 1 last year. And what did I find out? Well, I researched and I found this uh, Russian document, Russian Academy of Sciences, and their scientists have basically found that um, through blowing terahertz uh, frequency on, uh, on, your, on your bone, you're able to um, stimulate or activate the stem cells. Now, typical lawyer, uh, when we present something in court, uh, we have to impress the judge and we always have to show our authority. So likewise, I wanted to know who is this Russian Academy of Sciences. So I Wikipedia them and I found out that they have more than 100,000 employees. Wow, that's huge. And um, more than 30,000 scientists. Now that's good enough for me, right? And then the um, document that I present before you is actually they're testing it on mice. Yes, they're not testing it on humans. Now, something for you to understand. Um, it's very expensive to have human clinical trial, cost billions of dollars. And um, pharmaceutical companies are able to do that because they have already patented their drug. And then the next level before they're able to market is to show the safety and efficacy of that particular drug. So they have to do a human clinical trial and they will spend billions. And they don't mind because they're going to get a return on their investment, the ROI, all right? Because they have already patented their drug. Now, however, organizations like the Russian Academy of Sciences and its equivalent, they don't go around spending billions, all right? Because they're not gonna get there. They're just doing it for the love of science. And um, here, they tested on mice and it was shown that exposure to ultra broadband pulse terahertz radiation, uh, I'll just move down a little bit, promoted differentiation of mouse mesenchymal stem cells. Now, let me just explain a little bit about stem cells. Stem cells are in our body and they are undifferentiated. In other words, they have no specific function, right? But when it goes to your liver, to your kidneys, to your heart, etc., to your different organs, it becomes your liver cells, your kidney cells, your heart cells, and so on. So from undifferentiated, it becomes differentiated. Now, let's read this again. It says here on line 4, promoted differentiation of mouse mesenchymal stem cells. I'm saying, wow, this is it. This is what I'm looking for. All right. Even though it's on mouse, that's good enough for me. Okay. So it, 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 you know, basically after blowing, it actually promoted the differentiation from undifferentiated, it becomes differentiated and um, yeah, it becomes the organs cells. And that is huge for me. All right, moving on. So uh, next thing is um, terahertz resonates the same frequency as normal human cells. Now, an analogy of that would be to compare with our cell phone. We need to charge our, our battery right in the cell phone, otherwise we cannot use it. Our body is pretty much the same because our body is made of energy. And this is something that science have found in 2012. They have actually spent uh, $10 billion, more than $10 billion at a place called CERN, C-E-R-N, in Switzerland, where they built a large Hadron Collider, 20 over kilometers, and they used magnets to pull all these uh, photons, electrons, and so on, to try to make it as fast, you know, close to the speed of light, and then collide them. That's why it's called the Large Hadron Collider. So by colliding them, they are simulating the Big Bang. And many people believe that that was how the universe was, 
created 13.8 billion years ago. So they simulated the Big Bang, the collision, and you know our bodies, we are made of what? Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and so on, right? We are molecules. And molecules, when you break them down into atoms and subatomic particles, into the smaller ones like quarks and, and all that, they have actually found in 2012 that it's just an energy field. And they named this energy field as the Higgs boson. All right. So it is the Higgs boson energy field that all, um, all particles have to go through to get its mass. Okay, so at the end of the day, you touch your flesh, you touch yourself, you touch your everything, everything breaks down to just energy. Now, the good thing is, well, terahertz resonate at the same frequency. Now, why is this good news? Because if it does not resonate, it's not going to do us any good. So let me show you what is resonance. Okay. So as you can see from this experiment here, right? if it is the same frequency, then it's able to vibrate. All right? So likewise for our body's cells, um, because it resonates terahertz frequency, it vibrates with the cells in our body, it will energize our body. Now when our bodies are energized, well, the cells are then able to function and do what they are supposed to do, isn't it? So that's what we want, right? Ultimately, that's what we want. And um, the good news is that now it's able to do that, our cells are now able to function, right? Uh, at a higher frequency and it's able to perform its task, all right? That's why many people are getting better, all right? By using the terahertz frequency. And um, later on, I will share also we blow the terahertz onto the water before we drink, just for one minute. And again, our body is 70% water. So when you drink energized terahertz water, guess what happens? <laughs> right? Our body, our cells gets energized. And that's why this product works so amazingly well in our bodies. Now, moving on. Um, I was told that, you know, this guy couldn't speak for like two years and you blow and he was able to speak in 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh, really? You know, so again, I did my research and this was what I found. Okay, this was what I found. And here, this, uh, uh, sorry, the previous uh, document that I shared uh, by the Russian Academy of Sciences was a 2020 document. And this one is a 2021 document. And here it says terahertz exposure enhances neuronal synaptic transmission. Wow, these are huge words. Enhances, improves, right? Neuronal, neurons. Now, synaptic transmission. Some of you may know, some of you may not. Well, I copy pasted here the definition. An understanding of synaptic transmission is the key to understanding the basic operation of the nervous system at a cellular level. Without transmission, there is no direct communication between cells. There would be only individual isolated cells. So in other words, if you think with your, your, your brain, your mind, if you think that you want to move your fingers, they will move because there is cellular communication and you want to think of something to say and the words will come out. And if you think you want to walk, it will, yeah, you will walk. All right. So when there's something wrong with this, then yeah, that's where stroke patients, they suffer because they cannot walk, they cannot talk, and they have a lot of issues, all right? It's because there is no longer the neuronal synaptic transmission occurring. Okay, so moving on. Now, this is the excitement um, because I have, uh, just a few days ago, found this document and uh, it was uh, published at National Library of Medicine. In, uh, well, it's actually in uh, PubMed and uh, National Institutes of Health, which is uh, U.S. Uh, government website where scientists, doctors, they can publish their works and they will be judged, right, by their peers. They will be judged. So this one, well, it's actually published by a group of uh, scientists from Iran, all right, from Iran. And uh, well, I've always believed that, you know, people from Russia, they are really brilliant. People from Iran, they are brilliant because they historically, 
Persians, right? They're really uh, rich uh, in, in, in culture and history, and they're brilliant people. Okay, and this is what they have found, right? And uh, in this particular uh, paper of theirs, they were looking at a review of feasible applications of terahertz waves in medical diagnostics and treatment. So they were looking from two angles, diagnostics and treatment. All right. And I'm just going to focus on the um, treatment. Okay. I'm just going to focus on the uh, treatment. And this is what they have found. All right. This is what they have found. Very, very interesting. This is what they have found. Let me just highlight this. All right. Now, the terahertz treatment application okay so over here it says that decreasing tumor size <laughs> wow and uh, treatment is terahertz uh, irradiation and they have found that the tumor actually shrunk after just three um it says here three days right a significant reduction after three days oh wow that is Amazing, that's huge, isn't it? Then the next one is treating skin cancer. Again, how did they apply it? Well, they used the terahertz uh, uh, pulse radiation. And it shows that it treats and controls non-melanoma um, cancer cells. Wow, this is the common cancer cells. And it actually treats and controls this particular type of skin cancer. Now, that is really another amazing thing. Healing, all right? Healing burn injuries. It also shows that it helps. And uh, treating cardiovascular, I will go to the main body of the document to discuss with you and show you. And uh, then uh, improving corneal epithelium of the eye. Well, it actually does improve. And um, let's go on to the angina, the heart. Now, in one study, different age groups with angina were treated with NO terahertz therapy. Now, what is N NO? NO is actually nitrous oxide. So, nitrous oxide is a mild sedative used by um, dentists mainly. And uh, to some people, well, they probably can identify with the laughing gas. All right. So, this is what NO is. And NO terahertz therapy. Uh, is being used here and their response to treatment was examined in general NO terahertz therapy has been observed to have a positive effect on treatment and blood clotting parameters in patients with angina blood, blood clotting clotting of the artery all right now NO terahertz therapy helps uh, the patient by activating the anticoagulant potential of the blood in cases of clogged arteries. Now let's look at the word anticoagulant, right? Coagulant means clogging. Alright? It, it it forms a clogging.
Before we go ahead, don't forget to click the subscriber button on my channel.